Hey guys, how's it going? Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, we'll be talking about how to play Android games on Linux. So I'm going to have to pull up my article here because unlike a lot of my other tutorials where it's pretty straightforward and I can just walk you through it, this one is probably one of the more complicated ones. So let's start off by talking about Anbox. So Anbox is an emulator. Uh, it emulates the Android set of tools and for this to work, you're going to need to check out my link in the description to this article here. And you're going to need to go through and set up Anbox. And it involves setting up a snap package. It involves, if you're using Ubuntu, using a PPA or Arch Linux building from AUR or any other distribution you'll have to build from source. Then you need to turn on the kernel modules, install the Android tools, and you follow that tutorial. Then you'll need to start the server up. So we've got all that going, and we're going to follow the tutorial straight from this section. So I'm not going to bog you down with a ton of different details. So to start off, once you've got the Anbox tools and everything set up, you're going to need to open up your application menu, look for Anbox, and then start this up. You'll see the application manager. From there, you can open up a terminal. And uh, you go to the terminal here. Open yourself up a terminal. And I will warn you in advance, I have to reset the Plasma shell once in a while because Anbox will freeze your stuff. It is in beta mode, it is in development mode, and it is not going to play nice at all times. So as you can see, I've got a couple of games running already. So what you need to do now is you need to do ADB start server. Then you can do ADB devices. And you can see we see the emulator 5558 device. This is our Anbox application manager. Now we can download our game, and uh, the way you would download a game is you'd go to your APK mirror. And uh, now the reason that I am focusing on this app here is because it makes sense as to why it would work. Now, not every Android game is going to work. You're gonna run into problems, and the way you run into problems is with CPUs. So not all games are created equal. And a good example of why you need to worry is in how you're doing this is uh, basically not every CPU will be compatible. So let's check out an example of something that isn't compatible really quick. Um, PUBG Mobile does not work. And the reason it doesn't work is because there's no x86 version. It only has an ARM E ABI version. So that means it's only gonna work on phones and tablets and they have specifically made it that way just so that you know people can't cheat or whatever. And I guess that makes sense. The reason we're going to go with Bullet Boy, though, is if you type in Bullet, uh, you know, Bullet Games, and you can do this with any game, but you need to search APK uh, Mirror and search for a CPU that works, uh, something that is compatible. And uh, so let's download this one. We can see that it's a universal. You can click on the APK variant and uh, get to the page, download the file, and then you can get to your downloads by going to Downloads and then ls apk and then you can install the app with adb install and then it will install the application now it failed to install because i already have it installed but i just wanted to show you that this is how you install it so you would do adb install then the name of the file and it will automatically load up into our application manager which is right here now i have two games installed and if you go into settings, you can see that this is a full Android environment. It's running 7.1.1 and box uh, and x86 64. So it does work. And uh, I don't know why that opened, but so to play a game, you could just double click on the game itself and it does run. So it's not like this is doesn't work. So if you want to play a game and it is supported, you can, you can also use regular applications and it does render out 3D graphics. And I will show you some gameplay really quick. I, I realize that some of you are going to want me to, to go over to every little detail of this, but it is so complicated. You have to check out my write-up. But uh, just to show you that I'm not playing, this does work. So we can play this game, which I am very terrible at. <laughs> Generally, games that work are going to be ones that work without the Play Services API. I have gotten it working. So if you just load up the Play Services APK, it does work. So... 
You just got to load it up like any other APK and it should work just fine. But this is how you play Android games on Linux with the with the Anbox application manager and it does work. So if you're looking to play your favorite game, this is definitely a way to go about it. My name is Derek and I will see you in the next video.